Alrighty guys, so before we start this video, I'd like to make sure you understand that you should not be playing games in school. But, if you do decide to play games in school, these are the ones you should definitely play. Okay, so now that we have that over with, let's get into the video. Welcome to the Alley Cap channel, where we have game reviews, top 10 videos, and much, much more. If you smash that like button in the next five seconds, you will never be caught playing these games in class. Without further ado, we are starting the list. At number five, we have Crunker.io. Crunker.io is a fun, fast-paced multiplayer game where you are placed on a team with other players and must eliminate enemies on the opposing team. One thing about Crunker.io that I really like is how user-friendly and easy to pick up it is. The simple controls and fun objective makes for an engaging game that many people love to play. You can also make private lobbies and play with friends. This is perfect for when you're sitting at the back of the room with a few close classmates. So at number 4 we have Zoms Royale. Zoms Royale is a 2D battle royale style game where you are dropped on a map with numerous other opponents and must compete to be the last man standing. Keep in mind that there is a deadly gas closing on you, in on you throughout the match. You can also do solos, duos, or squads. This is about as close to Fortnite as you're going to get in terms of online games. I find it really cool that there are different varieties of weapons and weapon ranks, ranging from gold shotguns to grey crossbows. This is a great game if you have some spare time in the school day. Number three is Splix.io. Splix.io is one of my personal favorites. I actually hold the world record for the longest match ever played in Splix.io. One of my previous videos is on it. In Splix.io, you go around a grid map trying to capture land by making a trail. When you loop your trail back to your own land, the outline land will become your color. The more land you amass, the more points you get. You can also eliminate players by running into their trail while they are outside of their land. If you do manage to eliminate someone, it'll give you an extra 500 points. I really enjoy the clean graphics and smooth gameplay of Splix.io. And this is also a great one for class because every now and then teachers can be convinced that it's a math game.
You can't have a list of games like this without Slither.io. If you are watching this, chances are that you've heard of or played Slither.io. Slither.io is an online multiplayer game where you go around the map collecting small circles to make your character, which is a snake, bigger. If someone runs into you, they're out and they drop all of the dots they had collected. If you run into someone, the same thing happens to you. This game is highly addicting and it feels great to see your name pop up on the leaderboard. It can be a little disappointing though when you get really big and get eliminated by the smallest snake in the lobby. Shell Shockers. Shell Shockers is a fun online first person shooter where everyone is an egg. Yes, an egg. Shell Shockers is quite similar to Crunker.io, but I enjoy the layout and graphics much, much more, which is why I placed Shell Shockers at the number one spot. One thing that I love about Shell Shockers is the great weapon selection. It ranges from snipers to SMGs to shotguns. Another awesome thing about Shell Shockers is the ability to create a custom lobby and share the link with your friends. This is perfect and you if you and some of your buddies are tired of algebra and want to have a little fun. There are also numerous different maps and game modes to play from. For example, there's Capsule of the Spatula, there's Free For All, there's Teams. In conclusion, Shell Shockers is a great game to play in school, and I have placed it at number one on the list. So there you have it, my list of top 5 games to play in school. We have Crunker, we have Zombs Royale, we have Splix.io, we have Slither, and we have Shell Shockers. 
If you reached this far in the video, please comment banana in the comment section. I'd really like to know which one of you actually watches my videos till the end. It really helps out my channel. Thank you. But what helps out my channel even more is if you leave a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. If you do, you will have good luck for the next 10 years. Thank you so much and have a great day. I'll see you next time.